Good day, everyone. We've got a great one for you this morning. Dave Megita throwing heat, throwing about 97 and a half miles an hour right off the bat. You're going to love this one. Uh, before we get to it, quick shout out for the Patreon members, Andrew, Andrew M., Belinda N., Dr. Ashley, and Will Chung. Thank you guys so, 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 so much. Uh, you help keep this machine running. If you all are appreciating all this bloody High Rocks content we've been putting out there, all the amazing OCR content we've been doing for all these years, you can join the Patreon. Hop on. You can pay as little as 2 bucks a month. Or if you want to pay for the year, just get that bill done and be done with it, uh, you save a month. So you pay for 11 months and you get 12 months free of being in the coolest Patreon group you could possibly be a part of. We've got our own Facebook group. We do a lot of cool stuff. We do some private Zooms. Wouldn't you like to be a part of those? Uh, it's a lot of fun, and uh, as I said, it does help keep this machine running. Without further ado, let's get to Dave Magida talking all about Hunter and High Rocks. Away we go. I've, I've been petitioning hard to get led into this race, but uh, Hunter, Hunter originally called me and was like, hey, man, like, I want you to come to this race. I know you dominate. Like He like called me, and I was like, all right, fine, I'll do it. And I started training specifically because he called me. And I was like, I'll do it if you get me into the like the elite wave. Right. And and like give me a shot. And he's like, Yeah, no problem, no problem, no problem. And then the other day I was like, Hey man, can you send me that comp code so I can get into this wave? And he's like, Oh man, I don't know if there's space anymore. You know, like we invited this guy from like 10,000 shorts or something. Like I, there's just probably Is that a no brand? There's like brand ambassadors and stuff and guys with like 50,000 Instagram followers. Like that's who they want in this race. They don't want guys who actually will wreck this race. Like I'm going to obliterate it and I'm going to run the entire thing at, you know, five sub five forty pace with like that's cruise control speed at this point. And, and then just hammer the stations. Cause nothing's, we just, I just did it again today. 50, 54 minutes, I think. Um, don't yeah there's transition like, stations like i know like psh, add three minutes okay 57 30 in training add three minutes to it i don't care i think that they're trying to do both like it's not just influencers it's, no, 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 they're getting sure. some real like, athletes but they also they listen, they, just Atkins like just like Killian. spartan games they want to grow the sport so they're reaching out to a few people that have some reach there's nothing wrong with that hey. Cool, but you know what? There's 50 other spots in the pro wave where those people can go to where they won't make a fool of themselves. First of all, that's just a fact, okay? Right. So are you are you in the pro wave now and you're trying to fight your way into the elite wave? Is that what's happening? Yeah, I've sent I've sent emails. So I sent an email to Eric over right. there. Who's e E-Rock, the right, right. Is it is it Eric Boucher? No, no, no. Eric, Bo name? Eric Bosford. Bosford. Everybody knows. Everybody knows Bosford. him as E Rock. He is like the North American so he, whatever. He and I have never actually like met, and Good so dude. I sent this like, yeah, that's what I've heard. And so I sent him this long message about like, hey, this is who I am. Um, you know, here's how I run in like marathons recently, ten milers, whatever. I just simmed this thing in 55 minutes. Now I've simmed it in 54 minutes, um, and I did it today, like kind of like half assing it, um, and then. Um, you know, I'd like a shot at this Hunter and I have kind of had an old, like really good, like longstanding, like old frenemies, nemesis, like, you know, fun time. Like Hunter's always been a little bit ahead of me, but I'm always nipping at his heels and, uh, and it'll be really fun. Like we did the Spartan ultimate team challenge. That episode where we went head to head was like the highest rated episode of the season. Like you, you will get a lot out of having me there. Is that, and, is that where they tried to call you Hollywood or try to call him Hollywood? Yeah. They called me Hollywood and they made me the villain, even though like, come on. Even though in this, in that, pretty much Hunter's the villain everywhere he goes, but you are yeah. the villain. David Hollywood yeah, Magida. Fine. That's fine. I'll take it. Um, it was, you know, and even I was though like, your original OC, even though your original OCR nickname is in fact the Bear Jew, much more appropriate. And the captain, because um, I was the, you know, you know, I used to book Hunter's flights for him when we were running on the same team. Like I, I made sure like. Well, Joe things, called you the captain. Yeah. Joe was like, yeah. Magida, you're the captain of this team. Yeah. Yeah, somebody's got to keep them all in line, you know, but we got all those big personalities. Um, but, but, you know, basically I know that this is tailor made for me. Hunter knows this is tailor made for me. And I think part of the thing is he wants to make sure he wins and wins by a lot still, you know, he don't want it to be that close. Um, you know, and Atkins, Atkins will, will push him, but, but Atkins will, will 
I think Hunter also knows like he's going to beat Atkins just on the experience alone in this race. Like it, experience is going to buy him an extra 90 seconds in this race. It just is. So are you, are you it, saying, are you saying he doesn't want to face you head to head? Yeah. He's telling, he's, he uses the argument, like you're not like worth it or whatever. Um, you, he said to me the other day, he's like, he's like, well, some guys have are elite athletes coming out here and you're just some guy who hasn't raced in like six years. And I'm like, I've been racing the whole time. I just haven't run the races you've been running. For the record, like I won a trail series here. I had to win like eight races in 2018. This past year, I still ran all this stuff. Like I'm still running a ton. I'm still racing a ton. I run all my local obstacle races. I just happen to not travel to the national series for races because I broadcast it. So, um, so he tried to use that excuse. And then he said, all these guys are worthwhile. And I was like, you know, like I respect all these guys. Like Grant is a really fun dude. And Grant is entertaining as hell. Yes. Grant has a big Instagram following. But Grant is going to get friggin' smashed by this five miles of compromised running. It's just, it's not his sport. And I was like, that, that's a spot that, I'm not saying get rid of him. I'm just saying, like, if you're going to let him in, put me in the race. Like, let let the big dogs eat, okay? That's all oh, I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Oh. So I sent this you're email. You're getting me fired up. Come on now. So I sent this email and uh, it included like, hey, like Hunter and I have this rivalry. And, um, you know, like, I was like, I don't, I, I, I'm a person that's going to make him nervous during this race. I'm going to push him. It's going to be exciting. And who knows, like, you know, I'd love to put my foot down on his throat. That's, you know, maybe that's how I ended it. And Hunter texted me like a, like a couple hours later. And he's like, he's like, okay, tough guy, I've got a deal for you. And I was like, okay. What, what are we talking here? And he said, okay, here's the deal. You can race in the elite wave. And if you get top three, I will pay you $5,000. And I said, and? And he said, and if you don't get top three, you owe me $5,000. And my response was, Hunter, you're picking the field. Only a moron. <laughs> and, I don't, and the field's not complete. Only a moron would take that bet. And that's a lot of money. But here's what I will do. I said, I will, I will bet you the same bet for $500. I will put $500 out there. Right. And his response was not worth it, not enough money. And I'm like, what are you selling spots to this race now? So um, he basically then, then, then he called me and he goes, and I heard you were going to put your foot down on my throat. And I was like, ah, I always say, I heard you're going to put your foot down my throat. And I said, no, I was going to put my foot on your throat. There's a big difference. Um, but you know how it is playing the game. We got to play the game. We got to, we got to have a, you got to have a foil. Like we got to, we got to show it up a little bit. And, um, it turned some heads. I mean, the CEO read my email. So, you know, something's happening anyway. Um, long and short of it is he just basically told me like, we just right now we're trying to get people with big Instagram followings. That's what we're looking for. We have a few big racers in it already. And, um, and then he said to me, and, you know, like other guys that have podium, like Cole Schwartz, deserve a shot there too. But Cole's not in. Cole texted me last night and said he was shocked that I'm not in because he thinks that I would be in the top three. Should, should, I'm sorry. Should I know who Cole is? I apologize. I know I've heard the name. Is he a, is he a uh, OCR guy? Yeah. Um, more in like the team TMX. He does a lot of stuff with Hunter and uh, Kempson. And All right. I've Kempson. Dude, I've probably met you guy. Please don't hate me. I thought, see, I thought Kempson was going to show up. Ryan Kempson, sorry, Matt Kempson. Ryan, Ryan is the runner. Matt is the strength guy. So um, Matt would want to show up, but 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 Matt's focusing on tactical games. It's a safer bet for him, anyways. Because um, he's not big enough. He's not strong enough. He's not fast enough to run this race. You don't think so? No. You don't think he could compete with? I don't know, even a top five spot. Yeah, maybe, but um, but he's not going to be. Atkins and he's not going to beat Hunter and he's not going to beat me. Well, you know who I listen, there's still time, right? Yeah. Ma maybe you get lit in. Maybe they expand the field. I feel like when they added Christy today, I'm holding up my phone again, that is that like, make it 11. I feel like it does. So maybe they, maybe they, you know, like, listen, we make it 12, make it 15. I don't know. So um, I'm excited. 12 would be cool. Listen, I, all I said, I didn't say I'm going to win, but I have a shot. All you I'm said, saying you said is, I'm going to shock a lot of people, which I think is a good way to put your hammer down. Exactly. Like, I, I believe that um, I will be a factor, that I will push the pace on the runs, that I will make up any time that I lose anywhere else because of them, that I'll run the fastest race 
or second fastest race of anybody in the actual running segments. I mean, in my run today, in just training, I did the five miles in, uh, and what is it, 4.96 technically, but I ran it to five for funsies and 29 flat. And that was like my slow day because I ran 15 miles yesterday and did a track workout and did a ton of lunges and was just sore as hell. Um, but yeah, but we've done it. We've done it where we've gone under 28 on those runs in between the stations. Like we're, we're good to go, man. Like I'm, I'm revved up. Killian knows and you can ask him, ask him how good I'm going to be at this. All I'm saying is, um, if, if $5,000 gets me into the race, but that's the only way that it gets into, get, gets me into the race. That's kind of an absurd thing. What should get me into the race is the fact that I'm going to go there and I'm going to be an absolute Tasmanian devil out there wrecking things. So there you have it. As with most of these YouTube videos, there are full episodes that will be podcasts. So if you look in the links below, you should find the full uh, 45 minute to hour podcast. If it's not there yet, keep checking back. Uh, once again, thank you to this episode's Patreon fans. They get the special shout outs. Belinda, Andrew, Ashley, Will, I'm never good at left and right. You guys mean the world to me. And remember that you too can be part of it. Just do it. You've been following this stuff for years. This is what all you guys say when I go, hey, what had you finally joined? You go, you know, I've been listening for years and I finally just did it. So there you go. Take a moment. Hit the link in the thing. And when you do that, you feel good. You're supporting a cause you love. And you help this machine run. Love you. Miss you. Mean it. I got to run. That's my, that's my tagline.